Hi, this tutorial is introduction to the Blender game engine. Okay, Blender game engine is a layout for game logic, which is this one, and the other area, engine to use for rendering, you need to change that to Blender game. Okay, uh, now, first thing I'm going to do, just because you're going to make a game doesn't mean you don't need to do some modeling, so I've just come back to my normal I like quad view. I'm going to delete the cube and insert a plane, mesh plane, S for scale, 8, enter. I'm going to uh, rotate this plane with a ball on top of it to try and control motion of the ball by rotating the plane. So let's go back into the layout for game logic. Uh, this window here is called the logic editor window. Um, I don't need to view the properties at the moment and let's zoom in on that. And this is the area we're going to use first of all. Okay, you have these three areas. Add sensor. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. Um, the one I want is keyboard, so we're going to detect uh, a keyboard press. Now, if you click on key, it says press a key. I'm going to press the left arrow, and uh, the, this add sensor is you can see as input and add actuator you can see as output but uh, a better description is um, the sensor is uh, events event driven programming detecting an event and the actuator is the event handling routine that's called to deal with the event so when I press the left arrow that is the event and I want the plane to rotate uh, about the y-axis uh, anti-clockwise. Now your events have to go through uh, a logic gate. Uh, uh, the AND logic gate is fine for this. Uh, I'll illustrate the different logic gates just very briefly uh, as I go along. And I want to move the plane a motion uh, as a result of pressing the arrow key and I want it to rotate minus 0.1 obviously I've experimented with this if you put a big value in uh, it goes mad 0.1 is, is quite still quite big you can get 0.05 is fine okay now uh, nothing will work unless you link them up and to link them up you drag across from there to there and from there to there uh, and now the view I'm in at the moment, I want to be in a perspective view looking down at the plane. Okay, that's fine. And to start the game engine, you click Start. And if I press the left arrow, the plane rotates uh, anti-clockwise. Okay, Escape gets you out of uh, game mode. Uh, this closes up uh, sensor and I can add another sensor, another keyboard sensor. I want to use the right arrow this time. So I click here, press the right arrow. Just to illustrate the point with the AND gate controller. Uh, I can connect this also to that AND gate. Now, if I press go into game mode, and if I press the left arrow, nothing happens. If I press the right arrow, nothing happens. If I press both simultaneously, it rotates anti-clockwise. And the logic is uh, press escape to get out of game mode. The logic is the left button and the right button must be pressed for there to be an output. If I'd used an OR gate, um, by pressing the left or the right, I would have had my output of rotating the plane. Okay, that's not what I want. I want the plane to rotate clockwise when I press the right arrow. So um, 
I need to add another controller and or, or would be fine it, when you've got one input they both behave the same uh, I want to connect this to uh, my new AND gate to get unconnect this you just put, go backwards and that will remove that link okay and this time I can close this up by pressing the triangle I need another motion and this time it's plus 0.1 in the Y axis and I need to join that up and now I can test that start the game engine I can rotate that's the left arrow and I can rotate the right arrow okay very quickly I'll put the other arrows in I also want uh, when I add press the up arrow I want the plane to tilt forwards okay again from experimentation I found minus 0.1 in the X axis okay we need to join those up and finally uh, keyboard and if you click here press a key down arrow add a controller add a motion actuator and finally plus point one join that up and we should be able to start the game engine and if I press the up arrow tilts forward and if I press the back arrow down arrow it tilts back okay escape to get out the game engine I want to put a sphere onto the plane and uh, I control the motion of the sphere it rolls about on the plane depending on the arrow keys I'm going to go back to my normal default view add mesh UV sphere uh, to get it on top of the the plane I found that you just put the Z location to one now going back to game logic the main other thing you need to know about the game engine at this stage is uh, the physics property of objects and that is this button here by default uh, things are static uh, static objects um, don't use up processing power during, when the game engine is running going back to event driven programming uh, the computer loops around a system loop uh, waiting for events to happen and then running code corresponding to the event uh, if you make an object dynamic and we're going to make uh, uh, the sphere a rigid body which is a form of dynamic object then uh, every time through the loop the uh, game engine will check all rigid bodies all dynamic objects to see if they uh, need to be moved due to gravity or because of uh, momentum that they've got so that's the physics engine uh, has to update check all rigid bodies so uh, in this simple game all I have to do is make the sphere a rigid body and now all I have to do go back to the render window and click start and now when I uh, move the plane the physics engine looping round if it needs to update the position of the ball it does uh, there's gravity taking it off to infinity okay uh, I've got one I made earlier and in this one 
I've uh, made some holes in the plane and uh, and I've added some text. Now, can I get that ball? Oh, look at that first time, 10 points. Okay, all the files, uh, this tutorial, all the files you can get at uh, my website, freemovies.co.uk, at the uh, Blender channel there. Uh, thanks for listening and goodbye.